So, and speaking of something else that's unwatchable, holy shit, the new Resident Evil series was the worst thing ever made, maybe. Like, when I talked to you and you, I said, oh, you watched it? Is it any good? And you were kind of like, eh. That didn't do it justice. This is the worst fucking thing ever. Like, <laughs> it was, it, I mean, so it's funny because we literally, what is it? We, we binge watched it, me and me and my girl. And uh, How far she, did you get? Oh, I passed out. She stayed up to watch the last two episodes and she goes, that was the biggest mistake. I wasted. Oh, you guys watched the whole life. series. She watched the whole. Yeah, we watched. The whole Holy series. shit. Yeah. That's out of control. Yeah. I couldn't do a half an hour. It was, I, I mean, 15, 15 minutes in, I like audibly was like, whoo. <laughs> oh, no. And then in my head, I said, okay, push through, watch, be fair, push through and watch the whole first episode. Like, just push through and watch the whole episode. And then I shut it off before the first so what, half an hour. What what exactly... So what exactly did you take from it? Like, what oh my really God. pushed you... So, a bunch of weird it? stuff, too. Like, you could see it had a budget. But they've decided to outsource all the acting is the best way to describe it. I think where it was almost like American uh, Western actors expensive cheaper actors not in the west which again is fine if those actors work like if they're good enough for the role if they fit the role well, if they know how to they just weren't good actors yeah all the acting was bad every single every single role was bad acting there wasn't one character that you could pick out and say they're doing a good job it was all bad and all amateur hour across the board acting wise. It was like somebody was like, SAG actors are so expensive. Isn't there other actors that aren't SAG? And somebody was like, there totally is. There's a whole shitload of them over here. And they just hired a bunch of non-SAG actors. The reason you're not a SAG actor is because you're not a good actor. Or somebody would have gave you, if you're a good actor, they would have gave you a speaking role in something and you'd have your SAG card. And I don't think any of these actors did. If any of them did, good for you. Uh, but holy shit. So the acting was terrible right off the jump. Like first scene, first line delivered, you were like, ooh, that's that could have been better. And then the, 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 the camera choices were really awful and amateurish. The set design was really weird and felt very, again, very early 2000s-y. It felt like, what it felt like, overall kind of the feeling was those first, there was a moment in the early 2000s where Sci-Fi Channel was making a whole ton of different shows. And some of them were good, like Firefly was in that mix oh, yeah. during that time. Yeah. And I forget the other one, the name of the other one where the ship was alive and it kind of had the sexy chick who was the computer or whatever. Uh, it went on for a, lot, a, a long time, that one. Anyways, there was this whole string of sci-fi shows, and all of them were kind of like a little wonky and Universal Studios feeling-ish, where you could tell that they're really low budgets, but uh, everyone was doing their best. And much better acting in any of those than in this Resident Evil garbage fire. So, so it, it, it felt like one of those old-school sci-fi shows where it's just not elite filmmaking in any sort of and that's what it should be like this is this is a huge franchise bigger budget netflix it should be elite filmmaking of the at least above a seven for everything for directing for acting for you you need to at least be hitting that above average mark for a franchise this large on a platform as big as Netflix, like let's have, you know, some sort of effort. Like what the hell is going on at Netflix? It must be just rotting from the inside out. If the hierarchy dissolved this bad to let this show get made in the way that it's, the way that it is, is completely out of control. Well, like, this, I don't, this, will, this will tell you something right here. I don't even remember what the first episode was. 
No, and and that's that's mainly because of horrible storytelling. They had all these parallel storylines going on that you just jumped into the middle of a story on all of them at different times within that yeah, story. Different, different timelines. So, different so yeah, so for instance, you're telling a story like A to B, these this character, and A to B, this character, and A is a different starting point, and B is a different ending for each of these storylines. Yeah. There was five or six concurrent storylines going on, and you started at a different point in that timeline in every story with no context. Yeah. So all of a sudden you just jumped in and you're like, okay, this is happening. And then bad acting, bad acting, bad acting. And then you're out into the next storyline. You're like, okay, where biggest, are we now? So We're the biggest boat? thing that I heard, the biggest thing I heard was uh, people were complaining about mainly the, the kid actors. They were yeah. whiny. This the they were terrible. Jade, Jade was whiny. Like she just she they're like they're like you know. Well, and it's bad script writing as well. Like they didn't talk realistically. They didn't speak to each other how people would talk. They 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 had like Will Smith style one liners that they were delivering yeah. at times, and they tried to have all these epic moments that didn't come off as epic. Instead, just looked ridiculous. Yeah. Also, the horde of zombies weren't even zombies. They were just a bunch of people running around with a zombie audio track over the top of it. If you noticed, they weren't zombies. They were just people running. And then over the top, they did audio. But it was just people running around in a field. Yeah. Uh, or standing up against the one scene in the opening. They're standing up against the chain link fence. And go, uh, but the fence is only five feet long. Yeah. Like you could just go around either side and they could run, they're sprinting, but there's all these zombies that are just caught at this fence. Yeah. Which I mean happens in the Resident Evil video games, but oh. It so you have incoherent uh incoherent storytelling, bad camera work, below average cinematography, bad casting, bad acting if I didn't already say that. And you wrap that all up with then the director obviously had never played any of the games, didn't understand any of the canon of Resident Evil and what it was. And they just maybe their own thing. Maybe they watched some of Angel or Mila Jovovich's uh, roles in it, but those are even way off canon of Resident exactly. Evil. And like we understand why they took it in that direction. It was fun to watch Mila Jovovich just run around and whoop ass, right? Yeah. Like, we all like that. There's no, like, at, at the end of the day, if you just want mind-numbing action, I've, wa I've sat and actually played Resident Evil and also streamed behind me all the Resident Evils and just watched Mila Jovovich whoop ass for like six hours in the day. And, I don't know, it was okay. Uh... <laughs> It's okay. It wasn't a terrible day or whatever. I didn't hate myself afterwards. Uh, but that, but with that said, that's the other shame of it is the premise is so awesome. And especially with what's going on now in the world, like an yeah. evil corporation is doing bio research. That oh, they, they bring up COVID in there too, by the way. Oh, do they? They do. Probably in the worst way possible. But anyways, you, you know, you have all these opportunities for such cool scenes for such cool acting performances and just fuck all of that. We're just going to make this. We're just going to let somebody run wild with this garbage and then shove it out. Uh, I hope no one watches this show ever so people learn their lessons. It is a never watch. If maybe, maybe there's a context to watch it if you just want to see how what like not to do. It should be a case study for all kids in film school. This is what I say this thing is for. And it's and it's not bad like The Room is bad. The Room is bad in hilarious ways, right? Mm -hmm. And this is just really poorly done with money. Yeah. Uh, which I guess The Room is too, but th that's beside the point. This is This should be a case study for all students in film school to watch this and, and see how bad it can get. And it actually will make you... This is the context to watch it. You should watch it for as long as you can. I don't know if anyone can get through the whole season like you did. That's out of control. I but didn't get watch it. 
Cat did, but I didn't. Watch. She is crazy stoner. Like, there's no way you can get through that without taking dabs constantly to get, make it through the Resident Evil. And then even at the end, you said she was like, what have I done? Exactly. She yeah. Was like, it was, this was not even worth it. And she actually what played the games, too. Have I like, done? Like yeah. I played the original games on uh, PlayStation and PlayStation 2. Right. Uh, same here. I played the I par I probably played only the first two Resident Evils, believe it or not. I I think yeah. I picked up maybe three at one point or Resident Evil four for Wii, but that's that's about the farthest I got in the series. But the, at the same time, you have seven games. Is it seven or is it eight games now? Ton of games. <laughs> you got eight I think it's like eight games. Eight games? You have eight games. Yep. Like and you go and you create your own like storyline yeah. that it should Raccoon, make you mad. You should make everyone City. mad that watched it. You should be New furious. Raccoon City, come on! Like, like you should have just you should have just made the games just in a live action something like, like something. A lot of the games are one off scenarios that just exist within the universe, which is cool too. Like the last one, Village, it was just like you know a scenario within the universe that was really weird and creepy. That's what the show could have been. It's just a haunted house. That's what we want it to be is a, a, a haunted house. You, you know, a cooler, a cool format for it could have been like uh, American Horror Story. Where it's the same group of actors playing out a different genre of horror Bio per season. Village. Yes, and you could have just made this cool haunted house that these same characters exist in every season. The woulda, coulda, shoulda is goes forever from this because we're starting Absolutely. at zero. Absolutely. But, but it maybe you watch it because then after watching that you appreciate how much how well made everything else is compared to that. Like you can watch that and then watch anything else and go look how well done this is. You know, it'll actually you know it'll reset your brain. It'll reset your entertainment brain back to zero, so you go be like. It is the Happy Gilmore speech. Like, at no point during your incoherent, or incoherent rambling did you ever make a valid point, and we are all dumber now from having watched your series. You mean Billy Madison, not Billy Happy Madison? Yeah, Billy Madison. We are Happy all Madison. dumber. Yeah, all dumber for watching your movie, your series, and now, and it will. It just resets your brain, and then whatever you watch next, you're like, oh, that's so well done. Yeah, everything is really well done compared to Resident Evil series. Holy shit. Yeah, absolutely. I think we even gave it too much by talking about it this long. We need to switch to something else because that was too much time to even give that thing.